Have you ever been to the old burying ground in Arlington? If you haven't, you owe it to yourself to go. On Tuesday, October 17th, area history librarian Stephen Prochet conducted a fascinating tour of these hallowed grounds. This historic cemetery was established in 1724 and is just behind the First Parish Unitarian Church in Arlington Center. ACMI News Director Jeff Barn joined 15 other tour goers who were captivated by all the stories left behind by those who came before. A misty, overcast fall day, the perfect backdrop for more than a dozen area residents as they uncovered some of the more intriguing mysteries that have occupied the old burying ground for three centuries. The Whittemores and Cutters, brothers and sisters, the rich and the poor, 18th and 19th century slaves, all now equally share this hallowed parcel of land forever. The cemetery, like, really brings out a lot of early American history that not everyone's aware of. This was where the deadliest fighting happened, where we had our monument, and where we have like the people who told that story. But it also like gives like the darker sides of American history with the monument to the enslaved and free people of color that was just erected this year, like, I don't think the role of slavery in the northern colonies is, like, mentioned enough, and that's very important to explain. These historic grounds reveal so much, if you know where to look. A rendering of the eternal afterlife on some weather-worn stones. The familiar haunting images of life after death that dot the New England countryside. Jason Russell and his fellow patriots are also here, along with the remains of the young, hungry, and frightened redcoats who killed him. Many of the British dead from the first day of our Revolutionary War, the Battle of Monotomy here in Arlington, April 19, 1775, were buried along this stone wall here in unmarked graves, an area that usually was reserved for enslaved people. Now these graves were just feet away from what used to be a babbling brook going between Library Way and Pleasant Street. That brook is no longer. Instead, what has taken its place is a crust stone walkway for people to come in and out of this very historic cemetery. I'm a New Englander and I like history, local history. And it was just interesting. And, you know, being a New Englander, I still go to um, my relatives in Brattleboro, Vermont, and Wilmington, Vermont, and um, for Memorial Day. You know, my mother always put out the geraniums, and I do that now. I feel like it's such an interesting area. I know it's an older burial ground, and I've been interested in seeing like historical graveyards in the past. And when I've walked by, I've seen like the headstones, like the sort of skull with the wings. I'm like, that looks really interesting. But I didn't know anything about it, and so I was really excited to learn more about what was going on in here and really get a sense of like the history of Arlington. A major part of Arlington's history is all here. And like a good book, these ancient grounds have the ability to close us off from the noise of modern day society and tell us a story about ourselves, if you know where to look. Afterwards, I wanted to also spend a little time just kind of walking around and looking at the graves and sort of thinking about the history that we were just told about. For ACMI News, I'm Jeff Barnd. The earliest gravestones at the old burying ground date to 1736. Prochet's tour also showcases history sources that can easily be accessed from Arlington's Robbins Library. For more information, just go to the library website, robbinslibrary.org. Again, that's robbinslibrary.org.